Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use every single feature for Choice Eliminator and showcasing it for you. Starting off, you want to head over to the three dots and then click on Get Add-ons. From here, you want to search up Choice Eliminator and it should be this one right here. And once you have it installed, you want to click out of here and then click on Choice Eliminator and then click on Configure. And then a small window should pop up. So the first thing we got is the option limits. So starting off, we got the limit and then the response section. So the limit section is how many responses each person can make. And by keeping this box blank, you're basically giving the option infinite amount of uh, responses. So there's no limit to it. So and then the response section is how many responses have been made for each of those options. So I'm going to give a custom limit for each of these. And every time when I make a change, I'm going to click on save. And if I want to preview my Google form or copy the link, we got the two options right here, which is the preview link and then the copy link. But you never want to use the one that is given by the website itself or the Google form because it will not properly work with the add-on itself. You want to use the one that we provide. So once I have saved it, I'm going to click on the preview link, which will take me to the Google form itself. So as you can see, I got it's asking me to input my email. So you want to input your own email here. And I'm just going to choose every single option over here and then click on submit. Now, if I return back to my add-on and then click on refresh, as you can see, it showcases the response. It shows that there has been one response made for each of the options. And one of the options had reached their limit because the option itself, the text turned red, meaning that uh, the option has reached this limit. Now, if you want to set the same limit for all of the options, then you could go to this box right here and then input a number. And then if you click on apply, it will apply to all of the options over here. Also, if you're trying to get rid of the responses, for example, I've made one response for each of the options. If you want to reset that completely, you're going to click on the reset button one important thing you need to know is that you will if you do reset all of your responses you will never be able to recover them so use this responsibly so i want to reset all of my responses i'm going to click on yes and once it loads back into the add-on as you can see the responses are gone so i'm going to set the same limit again and then click on apply and then click on save now, the next feature is the notify me when the choice limit is reached. If you're trying to get notified whenever any of these options reach their limit, you can enable this feature and input your own email. And once one of the options have reached their limit, you're going to get a personal email telling you that this certain option has reached its limit. So let's make this have a limit of one and then click on save. And then I'm going to click on the preview. And I'm going to choose all of the options again and input my email. And once I click on submit, now if I head over to my email, as you can see, I got my own email telling me, if I go in, telling me that the forum title schedule presentation has received one response. And then the option nine, the option 9 p.m. has reached its limit of one response, which is correct. Now, if I refresh again, as you can see, it's red, meaning it's gone from it has reached its limit. Another good feature is the sign in requirement. It's going to require uh, each responder to input their email. So, for example, let me save this. And once I have saved it, you want to make sure this is turned on the email, the collecting email feature. And now if I go to my Google form, as you can see, it's asking me to sign in. And if I go to incognito mode, as you can see, it's asking me to sign in to continue uh, answering the form. If I don't sign in, then it's not going to let me just uh, answer uh, the Google form itself. So that that is the sign in requirement feature another feature that can go with this is the limit to one response what it's going to do is it's going to collect the email of the responder and it's going to have them it's going to give them a limit of one response to the google form not the options just the google form itself so if i turn this on and then click on save 
as you know, I already made one response already. So if I try to preview the Google form again, and then sign in. Now if I try to make another response, since I gave it a limit of one, I try to click on submit. As you can see, it says this, uh, this email has already submitted and it's going to ask you to input another email when it comes to people making several uh, responses out of one email which can mess things up another good feature is the show limit response response count so right now there's nothing there's just the options themselves and the options being crossed out whenever they reach their limit but another thing that you can do is uh, you can set, if you turn this on, the responders will actually be able to see how many responses and the amount of limits for each option there are. So let me save this. And once I have, once I click on preview, as you can see, I can see how many responses that have been made, which is on the right. And then the amount of limits on the left, which is actually pretty useful whenever you're trying to, whenever you want the responders to see how many spots are taken or how much they got left and the next feature is the close form when all choice limits are reached so the form itself so once every single option not one but every single option has reached its limit the form becomes useless so by turning this on you're basically going to have the form close basically it won't let anyone just in into the form itself so so let me turn this on and then click on save and once i do that i'm going to click on the preview again and just make all of these choices reach their limit so once i click on submit i try to make another response i try to make another response as you can see it says the form the form scheduled presentation is no longer accepting responses so it just basically gives you a message telling you that this form no longer accepts responses and that you have to uh, contact the owner. But if you're trying to set a custom message, you can click on cu custom closed form message and you can say like the form is closed due to limit reached. If you're trying to give a custom message after the form closes, you can just choose this and then set your message. And then once you click on save and then click on preview again, as you can see, it says the form is closed due to limit reach. It, it, it displays the message that you input using this feature. Another feature is to send responders a copy of the response. So what this feature does is it requires the responders to input their email and after they make a response in the google form itself after they submit the google form they're going to get a personal email uh basically showcasing like a screenshot of the response that of the option that they chose in their response and you get a total of 100 emails that get sent every day so every day it will reset back to 100 but if you have an if you're like an admin then you're going to have like uh i think like a half a thousand of uh, emails that you can send uh, that you can send to people of their response so let me turn this on and make sure my limits are back to normal and once I click on save and then head to the Google form itself so now I'm going to head over to the Google form input my email two of these middle options and then click on submit and after I do that I'm going to head back to my email and as you can see, I get a copy of my response right here. I got an email for myself. And as you can see, it showcases the form itself. Thanks for filling out scheduled presentation. If you click on it, it will just send you to the form itself again. And I got the choices right here and the, which ones I chose. Now, if you try to use the one that is given by the Google form here, let me turn it on. And then now if I refresh it, it's going to give me uh, an error telling me that I have to go back to the add-on and turn it on because it's not going to work if you use the one on the Google form. So just use the one that we provide in our add-on. Up next is the allow external sharing with only trusted domains. So this one, uh, it, it can be optional, but if you're trying to be specific on who actually 
uh, uses your Google Forms, you can uh, turn this on and then set a domain. A domain like yahoo.com or gmail.com. Anything after the at, like the... Uh, if you try... So we got gmail.com right now. And my account is... Uh, my email itself is gmail.com. So if I turn this on and save it, and then if I try to head over, if I head over to the Google form, as you can see, it tracks my email and I have gmail.com. But if I change it to like, for example, testgmail.com, you know, there's not a thing. Uh, it's not, there's no such thing as at testgmail.com. So if I save it, this, and then head over to the Google form again, try to preview it. As you can see, it, it just doesn't let me do it. Because uh, my at is not testgmail.com, it's gmail.com. And by sending this back to normal, and then saving again. Now if I try to preview it again, as you can see, I can use the form. You can also schedule a reset form. What this does is, uh, after uh, you, can, you can make this every day. So if, if I make this every day from midnight to 1am, what it's basically do is... You're going to reset the form every day from at midnight to 1 a.m. It's going to reset all of my responses. You can set this to anything to from every hour to uh, to a custom date and time, uh, any year or any day or month, whichever you prefer. Which can which can be useful because you, you don't have to go back. And then manually reset the form and sometimes you may even forget about it so you can set a custom date and time or just make it every hour to every month and one more important thing is when when it asks for you to input your email you want to head over to the settings and make sure it's on responder input and not verified because it's going to cause many problems so if i make this verified and then Head over to the Google form. As you can see, to fill out this, it's going to ask for you to be signed in in order to fill out the Google form, which which uh, is not what we want. So you want to make sure it's on responder input or do not collect. Another feature you may you want to make sure you turn off in, in your Google form is the restrict to users Everest web deals and its cited organizations. If you're trying to for example, have everestwebdeals.co have like a certain domain be able to use your Google form, like answer the questions in your Google form. Do not use the one in the Google form itself because it will not work. For example, right now, if I refresh it, as you can see, it's asking me to sign in. Uh, that, that will not work. Make sure it's turned off and use the one that we give ourselves in our add-on this one right here and then make sure you type in the domain so we got the everestwebdeals.co so once i save this and then and then head over to the google form and then refresh as you can see i could sign in now and it will work pr more properly once i do that let it load and as you can see i'm able to use the uh, google form and the same goes for the limit to one response. Do not turn on the one that is in the Google form. Just to use the one that we give in our add-on ourselves, so the so your Google form itself works properly. If you happen to get an authorization error whenever you're trying to access your Google form, uh, make sure you're not signed in to several Google accounts, and make sure you're logged out of all of them. If that doesn't work, try going into a new incognito page and trying to uh, log in there. If that if both of those don't work, then uh, go to myaccount.google.com slash permissions and then find choice eliminator or add on uh, and then remove access. So basically uninstall it, uninstall the add on and then reinstall it uh, to see if that fixes the problem.